So, on September 16th of 2020, Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, came out. And it was met with good reviews, and I thought it was a really great game. But, now, on f February 9th, 2021, Crash Bandicoot 4 was announced for Nintendo Switch. What does this mean, you ask? It means only one thing. Crash Bandicoot is coming to Smash Bros. So, to farther explain this, Crash Bandicoot is one of the characters who many people wanted to come to Smash Bros. for a long time. I even wanted him in the Wii U version, but I know that was kind of like, uh, stupid because he was, he was, he's been a PlayStation character from, he's been like a PlayStation character. But, they released Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy of the first three games remastered on Nintendo Switch as well. So that led me to thinking, hey, what if Crash Bandicoot was in Smash Bros? So that's that's why I think Crash Bandicoot's coming to Smash Bros. Ultimate. I guess I guess that Crash Bandicoot would be part of the new DLC Fighters Pass 2, but they announced Sephiroth, and I basically was very very unhappy that night because why 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 not Crash Bandicoot? It's like I thought it was gonna be Crash Bandicoot for sure, but it wasn't. It was some weird guy with a long sword. So. This is why I think that Crash Bandicoot is going to be one of the next DLC fighters. There only, there's only a couple slots left, and I definitely think that Crash Bandicoot is going to be one of those fighters. He is definitely coming to Smash Bros. He got a new game that got released recently, and, he's, and it's also being uh, getting a Switch port as well. He's been considered by many of the fans of Smash Bros. to be a Smash Bros. character for a long time. Like, I thought he was coming to Smash Bros. for Wii U. He wasn't. I thought he was coming to Smash Ultimate. He wasn't. I thought he was coming on Smash Fighters Pass 1. He wasn't. This is Crash Bandicoot's time to come to Smash Bros. So Crash Bandicoot is a great video game character, and I know for a fact he's coming to Smash Bros. This, this, right, this right here, this trailer, is a sign. This trailer is a sign that he's coming to Smash Bros. And that he will be in the next DLC Fighters Pass. I know that. Crash Bandicoot, there's no reason why he wouldn't be in there. If they can get away with adding Steve from Minecraft to Smash Bros, they can definitely get away with adding Crash Bandicoot to Smash Bros. Like, completely. Some people think it's gonna be Spyro, but Spyro's not the Spyro he 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 hasn't Spyro 4 hasn't even been like a hundred percent announced, so I don't think Spyro is going to be the next character if he, like, he doesn't have a new game coming out like Crash Bandicoot does. So, with that being said, I know for a fact that Crash Bandicoot is going to be the next character. I thought out a scenario, which I will probably put up storybo storyboard of it that I drew myself on screen, probably. Uh, okay, alright, uh, I just, this is a bonus thing for the video, but I just finished drawing some, like, uh, concept art for, like, the trailer of Crash Bandicoot when he gets into Smash Bros. So, it all starts just like the Banjo-Kazooie and King K. Rool trailer. They're all just hanging out in Donkey Kong's hut, and Donkey Kong's just sitting there watching TV, King K. Rool's sleeping on the floor, D. Kong's on his, like, like, uh, tire thingy, and then Banjo-Kazooie, which is new, are sitting in the corner, um, in a rocking chair, and they're playing the, uh, they're playing... A Game Boy, uh, which is just like, um, it's a reference to the Donkey Kong, uh, not Donkey to the Banjo-Kazooie, uh, save file screen in the original game, or, or on the original game save file screen, they're sitting there playing a Game Boy in a chair, so it's a cool reference. And then you see a Wumpa Fruit, it rolls by, and everybody, like, wakes up and, like, uh, is looking around. And then everybody rushes to the window, which is, uh, the window is actually still broken, after the previous trailer, because in the King K. Roll trailer, I mean the Don uh, Banjo Kazooie trailer, they broke the window. So then there's DK looking out. There's Banjo over here. There's Kazooie, uh, Diddy Kong, and King K. Roll. They're all looking out to see who it is. And then somebody spins into frame, and it's it's a shadow, so we don't know who it is. But then it's actually Incineroar, and Incineroar is using Darkest Larry, and he pranked him. He's laughing at him and everything. And then uh, somebody new who's covered in a shadow spins into frame and just completely destroys Incineroar. He just like whacks him out of there. 
and then it's Crash Bandicoot. It says Crash Bandicoot crashes the party. So that's it. That's ex this is exactly this is exactly how I imagine the trailer is gonna be. And everybody's like partying because it's Crash Bandicoot. But you could have Bandrix Dewey and have like a sneaking a little reference there playing Game Boy. The windows uh, windows still broken. Uh, the only other character who does like kind of like a spin attack in the game is like Incineroar. So they think it's Crash Bandicoot because Crash Bandicoot has a spin attack, but it's actually Incineroar. It's a cool little prank because like um, King DDD and Duck Hunt pranks them in the other trailers. So yeah, this is a pretty good like uh, concept art for like the trailer, and I hope this is really what it is. Uh, 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 shout out to uh, Judah from JWC Vids. He helped me uh, come up with this. Or maybe we had uh, we had the same idea at the same time. So anyway, uh, that's just a little bonus thing. So yeah, it, y doing the trailer twice was already kind of funny. Doing it three times now that's just perfect. That's just perfect. That's like if they do it any more times, it's not gonna be that funny. But this time, it d d there's like no way it wouldn't be. <laughs> like seriously, it would be so awesome having that be the trailer. So, with that being said, I don't know when it's going to be announced. Uh, let me check. Crash Bandicoot, 4, Crash Bandicoot 4 is coming to Switch March 12th. And I'm pretty sure they said something about like celebrating Crash like March in, sometime in March. I forgot. So, probably in March, they're going to reveal a new fighter. That is what I think is going to um, be coming to Smash Bros. I think it's definitely got to be Crash Bandicoot. But, um, hold on, let me look it up. Alright, so we already have three fighters in the Fighters Pass 2. We already have Min Min, Steve and Alex, and Sabaroth. There are three more fighters. I have some ideas of who these might be. Um, I think we're getting another Pokemon. Alright, here's me. let me explain. I think we're getting a grass type starter Pokemon. We have a water type starter Pokemon, we have a fire type starter Pokemon, and we need a grass type to finish the trio. We, we already have Ivysaur in the game. He's not even his own character. He's just part of Pokemon Trainer. So I think we need a grass type. Having Greninja and Incineroar, that's kind of like unbalanced. We need a grass type. So which of the grass type starters would be the best for like basically like a fighting game? I think you know who I'm talking about. Sceptile. I thought about Decidueye, but he we already have an Alolan starter, we have a Kalos starter, it has to be some, somebody from a different region. Can't be, can't be any of those. And also, I thought about the Gala region, but Rillaboom, I don't know. I don't know if he would play too different from like many other fighters in the game to like be that, be the third fighter. I think we need a fighter that's like, di I, so Greninja and Incineroar are wildly different fighters, but we need a different one from them as well. So I think we need Sceptile. He can use his like a uh, tail as like a sword. Well, not like carry it like a sword, but like, he can like whack people with it. He has a lot of, lots of tail attacks. He has he also has leaf blades on his arms that he can like slice with. Um, and then we get into the we get into the final smash thing. His final smash either he shoots either he uh, Mega evolves and shoots his tail off because Mega Sceptile he can actually shoot his tail off like a rocket and it explodes. He can, or he can do that, he can shoot his tail off, and it's a giant tail, and it just, like, goes along the stage and, like, carries people and explodes and stuff. Or, he can turn to Mega Sceptile, and you can control him, and then run, and then whack people with the sword, and every time it whacks him, it has, like, super, super high knockback and does lots of damage, because it's, it's the, every time you whack someone, it, it's an explosion. But it only lasts for the amount of time that his final smash lasts for. So I think Separ- uh, it's not a <laughs> I think Sceptile is going to be the next fighter as well. We're going to have uh, Sceptile and Crash Bandicoot for Smash Bros. Now the last fighter. That's what I don't know about. That's the one who I am really, really unsure about. It could be someone like Sora, maybe. Maybe another like character from like something, I don't know. I know for a fact we're not getting anyone from Overwatch or Halo in there, because... No way are we having that. Um, they could add Waluigi finally. Uh, another op uh, option is Shantae. Uh, they they already have Cuphead costumes. They could add Bandana D. <laughs> Possibly. Um, they could add a Pokemon, another Pokemon, but I, if we're already getting Sceptile, I don't really know. Like... 
All right. Um, here's my last guess. It could possibly be, and I could be really, really wrong about this, but it could possibly be another ARMS character. Because I know there are lots of different ARMS characters and we already just got Min Min, but it could be another ARMS character, and I'm going to guess Ninjala. He'd be, he'd play w w way different from uh, Min Min, I'd, think, I'd say. Uh, and he'd be like, uh, he'd be like in the arm style characters, but like I think he'd be like, and and the stage could be the um, Ninja Academy stage from Arms. I think it's gonna be a Ninjala, uh, my last my last fighter for this this pick. All right, now getting into the fighters who I think are really really unlikely, but who I would just love anyway. Just really unlikely starters who I, I really unlikely fighters who I just do not think are going to be in Smash Bros. But it's a possibility. Let's get into that. All right. Moving on to my own opinions of who I want in Smash Bros, but is very unlikely. So, on the first slot, I want Oliver from Nino Kuni. Now here's why. I, I, I have Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch for Nintendo Switch, so it is technically like on Nintendo consoles, so it's possible. It, it's possible, but it's like really unlikely. Um, he, he would have like a pretty awesome moveset if he could use like all the magic attacks from the game. And if he could summon familiars, like, if he was like Pokemon Trainer, but like with familiars, that would be insane. That would be awesome. So, I just think he would be a really cool fighter in the game. And now, moving on. This one's <laughs> very, 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 very unlikely if we're already getting Crash Bandicoot. Like, this guy was used used to be a boss, and now he's like uh, one of your like help friends that you help team up with in Crash Bandicoot 4. Dingo Dial. <laughs> It would be so awesome to have Dingo Dial in Smash Bros. He'd be so fun to play, and he would like—it's like his main weapon would be like the um, the leaf blower thingy that he has, like uh, in Smash in Crash Bandicoot 4. Like he would be kind of like K. Roll with like the leaf blower thingy, but like he could like use it for like recoveries and all kinds of other stuff. It would be so awesome, like Dingo Dial in Smash Bros. That would be incredible. And now um, my last fighter. Uh, <laughs> Grim Snarl from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now I think people actually are taking this seriously, like, oh, we're actually getting a Sword and Shield Pokemon, it's probably Grim Snarl. Some people actually think he is getting in the game, but I can tell you flat out right now, he is a very, very unlikely Pokemon. Out of all the Pokemon that are considered right now for Smash Bros, which are, uh, in my opinion, Sceptile, um, Toxtricity, and uh, Urshifu, uh, you could have like uh, two Urshifu fighters, maybe, uh, with like different skins and stuff. Um, out of all the fighters, he is very unlikely having Grandstorm, but it would be really cool, you know? Like, he could have like a really long grab because he would like stretch out like his hair and his arm, like, and then grab people and like slam them on the ground and stuff. He would be pretty, he would be a pretty awesome fighter. And he could use like moves like Spirit Break, Hammer Arm, he could do like Dark Pulse, uh, he could like put like curses on people. I don't know. He'd just be a really awesome fighter that I think would be really cool to have in the game. But <laughs> like I said, all three of these are very, very unlikely. Unlikely. Like, out of like all the fighters considered, these are so unlikely. There's even more unlikely uh, ones, but like these are just who I want, but are very unlikely. But uh, all, all that said, um, the final result of my guessing is uh, Crash Bandicoot, Sceptile, and Ninjala, and then also unlikely fighters, uh, Oliver from Nino Kuni, Dingo Dial, and uh, who did I, who did I say? Grim Uh Those are those are my final results for like uh, this discussion. And uh, just tell me in the comments who do you think is going to get in Smash Bros. But um, no dumb comments like the Fortnite guy. No dumb comments like that because that is so unlikely and. If you think that, then that's you better be disappointed, because that, that that's not happening. That is not happening. And, um, yeah. I'm so confident, the one I'm most confident about is Crash Bandicoot 4. 
uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 on Switch is gonna lead to Crash Bandicoot coming to Smash Bros. That's the one I'm most confident about. Like I swear, I'm so confident that if Crash Bandicoot is not in this fighter in this fighters pass or in Smash Ultimate, I'm gonna like I don't, I don't even know like do something like really dumb like cosplay Ness in public or something. Anyway, with that being said, I uh, hope you like this video. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later with some more. Uh, probably Super Mario related videos, uh, due to the time this video comes out, I'm gonna be probably focusing on Mario in the next couple of, like, weeks, because of the new game, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, that's gonna be such a great game, 3D World is a great game, this is gonna just boost it, so anyway, like and subscribe for more, uh, put your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you guys later, bye guys.